And my guest today, we have some carolers in, and we're going to be talking to Renee Baker. She's the owner and founder of I Smile in New York Productions. Renee, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. And you brought all your carolers in, or a, a few of them? A small portion of them, actually. Because everybody's out very busy at this time of <laughs> the year. Very busy, yes. Well, thank you for fitting us into your schedule this year. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, wonderful. And I love your costume. <laughs> thank you. Where did you find them? Well, I had most of them built. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there's a wonderful customer named Stacy Havens. She did most of them. Uh -huh. And there's a couple of other customers we use for a few pieces here and there. Uh, Cliff Whitmire and Mark Worthington. Uh -huh. And the rest I found online and decorated. Oh, isn't that something? <laughs> and it's from what era? The Victorian era. Uh -huh. So we're talking really the time that Dickens was writing his best work. Uh -huh. The late 1700s to early 1800s. Uh -huh. And your group here today is called the Fabulous Busy wigs? <laughs> the fezzy wigs, right. Fezzy wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that reference is? No. Okay, that's Charles Dickens uh, from A Christmas Carol, my favorite all time uh -huh. story. And fezzy wig, old fezzy wig, they call him, was uh, a beloved boss of Ebenezer Scrooge uh -huh. when he was young, and uh, he made him stop working on Christmas Eve to uh -huh. come join in the rousing uh -huh. Christmas party. So the fezzy wigs were hosts of a rousing Christmas party. Great. The fabulous Fezziwigs. Yes, we started out as just the Fezziwigs, but uh -huh. then one of my uh, clients started calling us fabulous, and so I thought, yes, that's stuck. That's <laughs> really great, great name. <laughs> Thank you. And it educates all of us that maybe aren't that good in literature, that um, there's a lot of us that need to learn things and participate in things for bringing all that culture to You're us. You're welcome. Yeah, wonderful. So tell us about your organization. How did you start it? What made you decide on this kind of theme for business? Well, I had been a sub in some other groups mm -hmm. uh, that I just I just thought I'd like to do things differently, and I'd been thinking about it for a while. And, um, well, this is our 18th year. 18th year. Yeah, now I'm from Michigan. You're I'm from, from South Illinois. Dakota. Oh, no, well. well, I have, oh, you know <laughs> what? <laughs> I checked you on Facebook. <laughs> uh, she did. Well, so, but you landed here. Yes, uh, from so the you, Midwest. Might, you may appreciate yeah, yeah. this as well. Ever since I was in middle school, high school, all through college, I was so enamored with New York City. Uh -huh, I, I sure. just knew I had to, to move here. But when I moved here in 1990, you know, things were different yes. here then. I, there was a lot of what I called frown pollution here, and oh, I just thought, uh -huh. you know, this is the greatest city in the world. Why aren't there more smiles here? Mm -hmm. And so I began to think about, uh, you know, uh, a company that I'd like to start of vocal groups that didn't just make a living singing, but also enriched New York mm -hmm. and brought more smiles mm -hmm. to New York. So do you remember the blizzard of 96? I've been here since 81. Oh my goodness, yes, yes. so you remember. Mm -hmm. I actually was out of town, I was in Florida uh, doing a concert, but I remember this so well because I just picked an orange off of a tree in the backyard where I was staying, oh. brought it to the tables, watching a, a little TV monitor, watching the news, I just realized what a tasty orange that was and then on comes our city mm -hmm. people cross-country skiing yeah down the street down broadway yeah. right <laughs> no cars except the ones that were buried and i thought wow well so no flights coming in and out of new york yeah. for days mm -hmm. people were stranded at the airport so there i was kind of stranded at the airport and i struck up a friendship with this woman i wish i could remember her name uh, i told her about how i dreamed up this company. She helped me come up with the name. Mm -hmm. So I SMILE. SMILE is an acronym and mm -hmm. it stands for, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Shine my inner light everywhere. everywhere. So it's really, I shine my inner light everywhere in New York Productions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I really, I know that when we're caroling, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And I have other even bigger plans that the carolers don't even know about very soon, so stay oh. tuned. Well, you can share those secrets with us <laughs> on air. I promise <laughs> I won't tell anyone. <laughs> we have about a million people who watch the show, so. Should promise that to tell? <laughs> right. Tell me. Yeah, right. My microphone's on. <laughs> Maybe in January. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank and you. where do the carolers carol? Oh, we carol everywhere. Uh, for a good long time, the crown jewel of our operation was that we were the carolers at Tavern on the Green mm -hmm. every Christmas Eve and Christmas Day from 1998 mm -hmm. through uh, 2009 when they closed their historic doors. Mm -hmm. I know they just opened up again, but it's kind of a different place and we, we're not caroling there now. We're uh, at the Tilla Center on mm -hmm. stage, so, uh, 
many times with the Pops Orchestra. Wonderful. Um, I've seen you around town. It's so fun to have you here. Where have you seen us? Well, I was thinking it was Lord and Taylor, but it would have been Tavern on the Green. Because oh, I always went there. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. neat. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and lo we are in lobbies. Mm -hmm. We're at uh, lots of country clubs in the tri-state area, Bronx, uh, the New York Botanical Gardens, the train show sometimes. Oh, not uh -huh. not every day, but uh, I gone to that select yet. days. Mm -hmm. Oh, then go on January. I think it's 17th and 18th. <laughs> That's when <laughs> Believe you Believe it or not, yeah. it's late in the season, but they still have the train show. And lots of places like that. And, and personal homes, parties. We greet oh. people at the doors of people's homes. What a and fabulous idea. Thank you. Yeah. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Now, not everyone here in the Tri-State area celebrates Christmas. Mm -hmm. Does that put any limitations on your business in caroling? Uh, limitations? Uh, well, most of the people who hire us really want Christmas caroling. Mm -hmm. There are some times when they'll say, let's steer away from the overly religious ones. So we pull out the Let It Snow, uh, the Jingle Bells, the Frosty the Snowman. Um, but the carolers are really good at sussing out a crowd. You know, mm -hmm. we can tell when somebody would rather hear a Hanukkah song. And we have a whole Hanukkah section in our Wonderful. book. Um, it takes people by surprise at the size of <laughs> our Hanukkah section. So we'll just uh, open up the book and start caroling from that. And how many people are in a group when you are out caroling? Normally a quartet, that's ideal. Oh, okay. So you have soprano, alto, tenor, and bass, mm -hmm. and that's how our arrangements work best. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, budgetary restrictions cause us to be a trio, and that works well too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's rare, but fun when we get to sing with more than that. I mean, we have been as many as 25 of us on stage at the Tilla Wonderful. Center with the Pops Orchestra and without, just oh a cappella. So we like, to, we like to carol with a lot of us whenever we That's can. Great. It's fun. We like each other. I'm thrilled to have seven of you here today. Yeah, this is fun for us, too. Great. <laughs> and, and where do you find your, cal uh, your, your uh, carolers? Well, most of my carolers yeah, beautiful are, are from the Broadway Hello community. Hello, on TV. <laughs> <laughs> and by the Broadway community, what I mean uh -huh. is many of them have Broadway credits, uh -huh. uh, are taken seriously in the Broadway auditions, are members of Actors' Equity Association. Okay. Now, remember, we've been doing this for 18 years. Uh -huh. And uh, some of the people who are with me right in the beginning are still with me. In fact, Jonathan is one, okay. one of us who are here today. Okay has been with me all 18 years and so as we um, you know shall we say get longer in the tooth mm -hmm. I like to uh, bring on some younger people so it keeps us mixed a mixed varied group and fresh uh -huh. and so I like to uh, bring people on right out of uh, musical theater programs from college oh, wonderful which we've done this year again I think that's really great that's really great <coughs> what are some of your memorable experiences doing you know the performance. Mm, there, are, there are a few. Um, the most recent one <laughs> was uh, there were four of us at the Tilla Center about a week and a half ago. Um, and whereas we used to be, like I said, 25 of us on stage with the Pops Orchestra, the economy shrinking yeah. caused us to be for the last few years uh, uh, caroling in the lobby, greeting the mm -hmm. guests, and then singing from stage that old Victorian favorite, the national anthem of the United mm -hmm. States of America. <laughs> so we do that from stage. Well, we did that. The last of four performances left the stage and there was a blackout. Oh boy. And this was the beginning of the show. Oh it's like my. a big holiday spectacular that the town of Oyster Bay puts on every year. Oh and so my. we thought it might come right back on, but minutes were going by. The conductor left the stage. It's this whole Pops Orchestra sitting in the dark. The whole audience is sitting in the dark. Oh They're my. beginning to get restless. Oh. So I said to my carolers, we don't need amplification and lights to lead a sing-along. Let's, let's go ask if we can lead a sing-along. So I, I talked to the commissioner. She was talking with the supervisor of the town, trying to figure out what to do. And so I asked her, would you like us to go lead a sing-along? She said, yes, yes, please go do that. So we did, in the dark, we started leading a sing-along. And they, and they really got distracted, and, and it was neat. And then pretty soon, the orchestra behind us, with no music, not knowing our arrangements there, trying to figure out our keys and oh, they started wow. lightly improvising and then the town supervisor requested Silent Night. Oh. And so we started singing Silent Night. The whole audience joined us. We had some music from the orchestra. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. And I'm getting tears <laughs> in my eyes. And the audience, many of them took their phones, put the flashlights oh, on and did this. Isn't that something? I almost cried. Yeah. It was so what beautiful. What a wonderful story. That was a wonderful one. It's taking like a catastrophe and turning it yeah. around into a wonderful experience. It was, it was so memorable. And I think we were up there for 
25 minutes oh or so just leading it. Oh, wow. And they said... Well, we enjoyed listening to you in the in the lobby when you were <laughs> rehearsing. You. It was like, wow, we have carolers around, yeah. you know. It was, like, yeah, it was great. Admit it. People like carolers, yes. whether they say they do or not. <laughs>